finished today? I have been busy writing whilst you've been busy writing your sentences. So what I have done is carried on writing from where we got up to yesterday. Yesterday, the last sentence we wrote was the first little pig built a straw house. So I have carried on and I'm going to read it and you can join in with me. So I've written the second little pig built a stick house. My next sentence is the third little pig built a brick house. Now here can remind me, what have I put at the beginning of my sentences? Have a little think. That's right, I've put a capital letter. Who can tell me what I've put at the end of my sentences? Have a little think. That's right, I've put a full stop. What do I do in between my new words so they are not all squashed together and it makes it easier for it to read? Have a little think. That's right, it's a finger space that we put in between. And when I was writing, I used my phonics to sound the words out and I also thought carefully about my handwriting. So looking at our table here, we've done the first little pig, we've done the second little pig, and we've done the third little pig. So now we are on this part. Our next sentence is going to join the end of the build up and the problem together. Now what was that special storytelling word that we put on our label here? We said one day, who was it? The big bad wolf, well done. One day the big bad wolf, what did he do? Huffed and puffed and blew the house down. So that is going to be our sentence. Let's see if we can say that all together. My turn, one day the big bad wolf, your turn. My turn, huffed and puffed, your turn. My turn, and blew the house down. Your turn. Right, let's see if we can put that all together. I'm going to say it first and then it will be your turn to say the whole sentence. My turn first. One day, the big bad wolf huffed and puffed and blew the house down. Your turn. Fantastic guys, that was amazing. Now you can help me write that sentence. So we are going to start our sentence with one day. We can use our label on our table to help us. Remember, one is a red word, I cannot sound it out. And I need to start my sentence with a capital letter. So one. One. Day. I need a finger space before I start my next word. Day. D. A. Day. D is a tall letter. D. A. A. May I play? One day. Who? The big bad wolf. So one day the. Oh, we know that is a red word, don't we? And it's t h e. One day the big. Oh, I think big is a green word and it has three sounds in it. You can sound it out. B i g. Big. Let's write that finger space first before we do a new word. Big. B -i -g. One day the big nice wolf. No, big bad. We can sound out bad too. Three sounds. B -a -d. Bad. 
bad. Finger space before we write our new word. Bad. B A D. One day the big bad wolf. Now wolf is a red word and you will find it on your three little pigs word mat. So that can help you. I'm going to do a finger space and then write wolf. It sounds like it's got an o uh in it. W -o. But it doesn't, it's an o. Uh. It's one of those red words that tries to trick us. One day the big bad wolf, what did he do? Did he build a house? No he didn't, he blew it down. One day the big bad wolf blew the house down. Blew, we can sound out blue. Are you ready? B -l -u. Blue, well done. Now, oo is a set three sound, so not all of us will have learnt that sound yet, but it will be on the sound mat that Mrs. Coleman sent you. B -l -u, blue. B -l -u. What was our next word? Let's read our whole sentence to find out. One day the big bad wolf blew the. Oh, the red word again. We know how to spell that one, don't we? T -ha -e. Blew the house. Oh, we sounded out house, we sounded house out earlier on, didn't we? Let's see if we can do it again. House, house, well done. Ow, ow, shout it out, set to sound. Ow, house. Ow, it's a set two sounds, so ow is two letters, one sound. They are joined together to make one sound. And remember, s has got that sneaky e on the end, doesn't it? So those two are joined together just to make this sound as well. Right, what was our last word? Let's say our whole sentence again to see if we can remember what it is. One day the big bad wolf blew the house up. No. One day the big bad wolf blew the house down. Now we can sound out down as, as well. There are three sounds. Are you ready? D -ow -n. Down. Now we've done the ow sound here. This is one way of making ow with an o uh and a o. Uh. There's another way of making ow with a o uh and a w, which is a set three sound. Ow, brown cow. Let me show you. So we need d, ow, with a o uh and a w, d, ow, n. There we go. Right, has Mrs. Coleman finished my sentence? Let's check using our sentence checklist. Did I put a capital letter at the beginning of my sentence? Yes, I did. Did I do finger spaces in between my words so they're not all squashed together? Yes, I did. Have I put a full stop at the end of my sentence? Oh, no, I haven't done yet. Who can remind me? Do I put a full stop up in the air or do I sit it on the line? That's right, I sit my full stop on the line and it's just a tiny dot, no giant footballs. Did we use our phonics to sound out our words? 
We did, didn't we? And what we can do now is use our red and our green pens to find the red words and the green words. So let's go through our sentence. One, that is a red word. Day, green word, d, a, d, a, a, may I play. What's our next word? The. Is the a red word or a green word? That's right, it's a red word. So I'm going to put a red line underneath it. Big. That's a green word with three sounds. So I need three sound buttons. One, two, three. B, E, G. Big. Next word. Bad. Is that a green word or a red word? Green word, well done, we sounded it out, didn't we? Let's do it again. B, A, D, band. Three sounds. Next word, wolf. Oh, who can remember what Mrs. Coleman said wolf was? That's right. It's a red word and you can find it on your three little pigs um, words map to help you. Next word, blue. Now blue is a green word. Are you ready? B, U, U. U is two letters, one sound. Those two letters are joined together to make one sound. Next word, the. Easy peasy that one, isn't it? That's a red word. We've only got two more words. House. Let's put our sound buttons on. Ow. House. And last word, down. D. Ow. N. Down. That's got another two letters, one sound in the middle of it. Well done, guys. Let's read our sentence one more time to check that it sounds right and that it makes sense. Are you ready? One day the big bad wolf blew the house down. Well done guys, that was a fantastic sentence and I've just spotted the last thing on our sentence checklist, our beautiful handwriting, making sure we have got our tall letters, our short letters and our long letters that go underneath the line. So reception, Today, I would love it if you could write the next part of your sentence. Can you do that for me and show me and Miss Black a photo? Bye!